This year I'm going through another teacher training. It is a classical Pilates teacher training through Peak Pilates. I'm going through a bridge training because my overall goal is to become a master instructor and to be able to lead teacher training. So this opportunity came up with Lifetime where I work and um, I snatched it. Today is January 3rd and I have been really putting off starting my bridge training, uh, but today's the day. I'm getting out of my own way and we are going to bridge together. Um, and all a bridge training is is, is like if you're already a certified instructor, if you've gone through a 500 hour comprehensive program because you're already certified, you're already teaching, um, the, a bridge is basically like an accelerated teacher training program. So it's something I still have to test out of. I still have to do a practical exam and I think a written exam as well, but that is what I'm going to be doing. So today is day one of um, teacher training for me. This bridge training is all self-guided. So I have content that I have to move through. I have a whole new, fresh, shiny new manual, whole new, fresh, shiny new. Here's my manual. I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna sit here and get through some of these modules and get things moving. I'm Zoe Trist, my educational director. And these are the behind the scenes of Everada, side is scoop. I usually do a little Monday in the life vlog on Instagram. So I've got that camera going over here. This is something that I got from Merit Beauty. It is the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I don't know that it really does anything for me, but I have it, so I, I put it on. <laughs> I really don't wear a whole lot of makeup to work because I've been dealing with a lot of acne like for the last year, but especially recently, I don't know what's going on with my face up here or right here. No clue. <laughs> I have this sunscreen and like skincare line from a local spot in St. Louis. Um, I like their stuff. I feel like I'm not continuing to break out. Uh, I've been using it maybe about a week and a half. They gave me like a whole nine step skincare routine and I did the cleanser the moisturizer, the sunscreen, and then they recommend another moisturizer. By the time you guys see this vlog, my app will have already launched, but right now in real time, I've done the pre-launch of my app to my virtual studio members, and I'm in the midst of the like full re real launch, I guess, to everybody. So this week definitely feels a lot less stressful than last week. Last week felt insane. But yeah, things are feeling good. Everyone is really excited about the app. All of my existing virtual studio members are super excited about it, which is great because it has been a labor of love. It's been a lot of work to get everything into the app. So to have positive feedback is like the reinforcement that I need and the validation that I need. So I'm really happy to be hearing that. Today is Monday. Typically I have the same schedule on Mondays. I haven't vlogged like since I started working um, at this new place. I work at Lifetime. <laughs> I work at Lifetime in St. Louis. But I don't think I have vlogged since I started this new job. So Monday through Thursday, I work in person and Monday is like my front loaded day. It's my longest and typically my busiest day. So I'm teaching three classes. I have a private client and I've got a couple other things going on. Today I've already filmed a class. A little under eye cleanup there. And I'm still on my same like skincare makeup products as I was last summer, except the things I'm not using anymore are the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops. And actually I'm not using the Euphoria blush anymore. I've kind of moved on to using an actual blush and a highlighter, but I don't wear those every day. Like when I go to work, I just do the brow gel. I do my little Tula eye brightening balm. Sometimes if my face looks a little bit wild with acne, I do concealer, but usually that's about it. I'm like going with my mascara 
and that's all. I don't know if you guys know this, but I do link all the products that I use in really any video that I post on my LTK or in my Amazon storefront, depending on which is more relevant to the video. So if you ever have questions about products, I link pretty much everything there. Um, and I'm always happy to send those links to you if you have questions about anything. And that is my makeup for the day. Nice and nice and easy. I really do want to keep vlogging. So you guys watching this vlog, please hold me accountable to, to vlogging more. Don't hold me accountable to a schedule, but definitely to vlogging more. I think that I can definitely do it and I'd like to because I miss vlogging a little bit. I miss talking to myself. <laughs> and I've been having a lot of fun vlogging like on Instagram, creating little daily or Monday vlogs really is what it is. I've been having a lot of fun with that. So I figure like I need to bring it back to YouTube because this has been something I've done for a long time. It's very fun. I do enjoy it. And to be quite honest, it is content that you guys ask for and that you want. So I want to give you that content. Okay, we'll let that cool and then kind of shake it out and see where things land. It looks stupid right now. It looks really stupid right now. I have a real test here. Can I fold all of my laundry before I have to go to work? I'm hoping yes, because laundry is the one thing that I really put off. So I would like to get this all sorted and done, but knowing myself, it will take me too long. I'll get tired and I will stop. I've talked about this like so much. I feel like in the last year, there's been so much disconnect for me in like the community that I have built. Like I feel like I haven't been able to be a part of the community. Like I've created a community but I'm not really there because I'm too busy like figuring out all this other stuff that's going on in my life and I don't like the way that feels. Um, I think this year I, f I really feel like I have a good handle on um, you know, I'm just like my life. I'm not going through any huge life transitions this year which is really good so i just feel like i can give i'm able to like really give a little bit more and and like continue to nurture our relationship i don't know i do kind of feel like we are in a relationship do you guys feel that way i mean we are like you guys are you're my friends and you've been for me you know been here for me for almost like four years on youtube that's kind of crazy and I feel like I've dropped the ball. Like I've really dropped the ball on our friendship. And I hate that. I hate that about myself that I'm like comfortable just dropping the ball. But you know, I really had to get like my job and the way that I make money in check before I was able to like give to you guys, you know? And I've gone through so many changes that I feel like I just had to give myself that time to almost like recalibrate and figure out really how all of the things that I do are going to work together. Like how am I going to create, oh, I just just flip this inside out. Like, how am I going to create content on YouTube and still maintain the integrity of my business? And how does YouTube and social media play into my online Pilates classes? And how do I make enough time for myself to continue to do all the teaching online, um, but still teach in person and, and have in-person relationships? Because I think the hardest thing for me in the last year was, well, really two years, was not teaching in person. I just feel like I lost so much human connection. And I almost feel like in my head, I thought that the online connection would be enough and it would fill the void. And it really, really was not. <laughs> So I feel a lot more like well-rounded and better able to, um, I don't know, better able to show up, I guess, and better able to like hold space for my, my like internet relationships, if that makes sense. I just feel like I, I have taken time to fill up my cup and I'm continuing to do that. It's not something that I'm just pushing off to the side. Yeah, I think I've, I've had a lot of a lot of growth and I feel like I've had a lot of realizations in the last two years that like now I really want to recommit to my YouTube channel and create the content that um, brings us closer as a community. And to me, I feel like that is blogs. Like if I am not going to be giving you Pilates workouts anymore, I feel like the best way for us to connect is through vlogs so that you can see just like what the day to day life is like we've been in our house and lived in st louis for almost a year and i feel like you guys have seen like zero of me living in st louis like you don't you know you're disconnected from that part of my life so i want to continue to 
just kind of like bridge the gap there so it doesn't feel like, I don't know, so, so it doesn't feel like, you know, any one platform is like the unwanted stepchild because you're not. Plus I feel like too, I put so much pressure on myself to really have like a successful online business and I definitely did, but I had to just really put everything I had into marketing my business and the best and the easiest way for me to consistently do that was to post stuff on Instagram. So like I even pulled away from TikTok, like I'm not posting on TikTok anymore. I don't know if you guys are also like kind of over TikTok, but I'm, I'm over it. And all of the good music was pulled from TikTok for a good reason, I'm sure. But like, I don't have the time and the energy in the day to create content that's unique to TikTok and content just for TikTok. Like it just, it's not really doing much for me anymore. And it, um, I know so many people, so many of you found me on TikTok and that's kind of how you were introduced to Pilates or introduced to my other social media channels. And that is wonderful but like I feel bad leaving the TikTok community hanging but again I also don't really feel like we we built a very like strong community on TikTok like there are a lot of people there but I just feel like you guys on YouTube and the people that follow me on Instagram like I just feel like I built a much stronger community there and especially on Instagram so many of the people that follow me on Instagram have really followed me since day one like since I had like 300 followers and Instagram is still like my least, um, my lowest follower count. But I feel like it's a very engaged community over there on Instagram. And it's it's like such an easier um, platform for people to ask me questions and connect. And I think that's why I like it a lot better. Like it gives you kind of that instant, um, instant connection with someone where like on YouTube, it, you know, it takes time to respond to the comments and you don't always see the response. And sometimes like there's still a disconnect there too. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel, I feel ready to come back to vlogging and that's what we're going to do. Those are the videos that I want to create. And I think those are the videos that you want to see too. I see so many comments and I get a lot of messages on Instagram that are like, please bring back the vlog. So here we are.